Welcome to the Mom Junior Cooking Show. Well, today we have a tip for you. You can actually uh, use Hershey's cocoa or any other cocoa that's natural, unsweetened. Instead of having melted uh, squares of chocolate, you can actually substitute um, cocoa for it. And um, it won't taste quite as good because it doesn't have as much of the oil in it. But this is what you do. You put three tablespoons of cocoa, unsweetened cocoa, and one tablespoon of cooking oil for each square of chocolate. For each square. So there you are. So now I'm going to begin to make brownies. I need, for my recipe, I need two squares of unsweetened cocoa. So I've got to make three tablespoons of this for each square. So I've already got one in there and I'm going to make one more square. By the way, you shouldn't put oil in in between because that makes the cocoa stick. So I had a little bit of difficulty getting the cocoa out of that measuring spoon. Okay, then I'm going to melt it together with one third cup of shortening. And the shortening should be Crisco if you don't want any triglycerides because remember, those are bad for you. So we Spoon the shortening in, and we spoon it down to the bottom of the container, and we push it down so we get all the air pockets out, and we level it off with a knife, and we scrape it into the pan, which doesn't have the burner on yet, so we're going to wait until we get all the ingredients in to melt. I think that pretty much takes care of it, so we're going to turn on the burner now. We're going to turn on like medium, five on my stove, and that will get it melted pretty quickly. So we'll have to wait for a while while that melts, and then we'll mix up the dry ingredients while we're waiting. What you're going to do is have yourself a larger, a small bowl separate from the other ingredients, and we're going to put the flour three-fourths cup of flour. This is one-half cup. And then one-fourth of a cup. And then we leave our half cup in there. I take the whole cup out. And baking powder, one-half teaspoon of baking powder. Watch out, we've got the cocoa spoon in there that's acting a little bit dangerous. Be careful not to dip it in there. And then, oh, one half teaspoon of salt. And let me show you the shortcut for the salt. If you put a little bit in the palm of your hand, and that makes a half a teaspoon about. But if you want to be precise, use your measuring spoon. Then you stir it up with a fork. And we're ready for when that gets melted. So now we have to wait for a while while that melts. Now this has melted so I'm going to remove it from the heat, turn off the burner, we've already done. And it's supposed to cool. After it's cooled, you add one cup of sugar. Now, the one cup of sugar will actually help it cool sufficiently to add next, when you stir it up, it will cool it off enough to add your two eggs. Because if you add the egg when it's really hot, you'll have scrambled eggs in your brownie, and then it really won't work very well. So, now I'm going to add my two eggs. I'm going to beat them in. Bye. 
by the way, this is a Betty Crocker recipe I got when I was very young, and I love it so much, but the cookbook fell apart. So what we did was we picked out our favorite recipes from it, we copied them down on four by six cards, and put them in a photo album book, and now I use that for um, cooking some of my favorite recipes. Threw away the rest of the book, which was really falling apart. Okay, I put in my two eggs. And remember, I already mixed the powdered ingredients, the dry ingredients. So now I'm going to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. And before I do that, I'm actually going to preheat the oven because it's going to need to be cooked at 350. So I'm going to preheat the oven, add the dry ingredients. Stir it up till it's well mixed. Good for your arm muscles. Good exercise. Okay, when I get done, I'm going to uh, this into a well greased, spread it actually in a well greased 8x8 cooking pan. And then I'm going to put it in the oven. And I'm going to cook it for 20, 20 minutes. I'll check it in 20 minutes. Actually, I'll check it in probably 25 minutes. And then uh, it should be done in 30 minutes at the very most. Make sure you check it because if brownies get overcooked, they taste really gross. Take it out when it's starting to pull away from the sides of the pan. All right, happy cooking. Have a great summer. Bye-bye.